Hi, my name is Tristan Spaeth. And I'm Jack Zarate. And welcome to the first episode of the 2019-2020 RNN season. Hey Cougars, I'm Kylie Peterson. And I'm Aisha Monsoul. And welcome to this week's newscast. I'm Michael O'Daniel. And I'm Aiden Weston. Hey Cougars, welcome to the last episode of the year. I'm Kylie Peterson. And I am Diego Rodriguez. We have a lot to catch you guys up on in this week's newscast. First, as of March 23rd, Wrench Tati has transitioned into distance learning model to implement instruction to students. This is to ensure the safety of our community and loved ones during the pandemic. On April 1st, Governor Newsom announced that schools will be closed for the remainder of the school year. Students should be signed in on their Google Classroom and checking in daily for updated instruction. Teachers will be available through their email or weekly office hours if there are any questions that you may have. Meals for those in our community age 18 and under will continue to be distributed weekdays for the rest of the school year from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Ranch County High School, Technology Middle School, and Lawrence Jones Middle School. Children no longer need to be present for their parents to be able to receive meals. For further information on the school closure and distant learning, please check the district website. In other news, the RCHS drama team, in collaboration with Music to My Ears, put on an amazing two-night showing of The Hunchback of Notre Dame in the Tag Theater. Here's a look at the show.
Before spring break, students employed the right to vote in our annual Super Tuesday election for next year's ASBE board. Here are the results. Our president will be Trinity Taylor Yamanoha, vice president will be Sammy Lemus Ochoa, secretary will be Melanie Maldonado, treasurer will be David Zapeda, and our school board representative will be Reagan Chocolate Mueller. Congratulations to all the students involved. Hey Giggers, it's Jordan Beasley and I'm here to give you your sports update. Unfortunately, with the pandemic that's been going on recently, all school sports have been cancelled. However, we'd like to give you an update on how spring sports were just before the school closed, as students were working on the double. Women's softball had a strong season start of uh, going 2-2, two and two, and was heading into the right direction going into the future. Varsity Baseball had a tournament set up in Los Angeles, however it had to be cancelled due to everything that's been going on, and had a strong showing against their rival Cardinal Newman. The men and women's lacrosse teams had their seasons go to 2-1 and 0-3 and, oh and, and were going into the right direction. The swim and track team were gearing up for their season and were showing promise for their future with some very strong athletes. That's going to do it for this sports update. We're going to send it over to the next person. Congratulations to Kevin Ortiz whose short film Wake Up was one of 15 films selected for the Sonoma County Student Film Festival. Fantastic work. ASB is putting on a virtual Rancho's Got Talent. Send in a video of your talent to the Rancho Snapchat at Cougar Crew underscore RCHS to be featured on their social media platforms. Finally, RNN is planning on creating short updates with critical information as well as providing glimpses of the process of distant learning. With the prospect of this being our last full episode of the year, we wanted to thank all of you for tuning in throughout the school year. We wanted to give a special thanks to our main sponsor, All Good Driving School, for their support of our work. We look forward to continuing our improvements of RNN in the 2020-2021 school year. And that is it for this update. That's it for this week. This is it for the update. And that is it for this update. That's it for this update. See you next Monday. We'll see you next Monday. And remember. And remember. And remember. And remember. And remember. Have a great rest of the week. Stay home and stay safe, Cougars.